Welcome everybody, my name is Adam Webb and I'm going to show you how to install Spigot on your Linux server using a shell script. As you can tell here, I've created a shell script for installing Spigot and automatically updating it if you so choose with a clone job. I also include comments to help you see where you have to make edits. This file will be available for download as a text document and should make making the file a lot easier for your system. So first thing you want to do is make the directory. In this case it's going to be slash root slash spigot.1.8 for me. You can change that to whatever you want but make sure that if you change that wherever you make the wherever you make the update file you will have to change all the settings within it so mkdir slash root slash spigot 1.8 okay so I'm gonna go into the directory here if I hit ls, the directory should be empty. So now we are going to make the file. So now we're going to open up our text editor, in this case nano. And we're going to call it spigot update.sh. Make sure there's no spaces in it. go. So the areas you have to edit. If you go and choose a different directory, make sure you change that to a different directory. And if you do so, make sure that you change the directory here, this part, to reflect the new directory. After that, you want to have this area set to whatever directory your server is located in. In this case, if you're running mine OS, you need to copy the jar two times, one on the profiles and one on all your servers. If you don't run mine OS, you can safely remove this top line right here. After that, we have to make sure it transfer correctly. So you have if statements. Make sure that this part of your if statement reflects what you just put over here. And again, if you don't if you don't have mine OS, you can safely delete this section right here without any issues. After that, hit enter, control X to exit, and hit yes to save. Now we are going to run the jar file. So now you type in bash spigot update dot sh It will then run the, jar run the download to get the jar file, the most recent version. So that's how it can pull your updates to if you have the spigot file already on your server. And starts compiling the new jar file. And then we'll transfer it over.
And there you have it. Spigot 1.8 has been successfully installed. And if I want to check and see if it's actually there, I can go and check on its file. So let's do this. CD. Oops. There we go. Casing always makes a difference. Right there. Speak at one point eight jar. That's all. Links will be in the description.